you want to see a little boy not give up. That was definitely our kale. Kale is a farm boy through and through. Anything to do with agriculture, he's there. He runs the combine at 11 years old. So, <laughs> a little big for his britches, but very well-mannered, is kind to everybody, is very helpful. When Kale was first diagnosed, we told him he was sick, but at the very beginning, we didn't tell him the severity of it. We didn't know exactly how to break it to him. That summer, he was playing t-ball and um, had to go to the bathroom during a t-ball game, and so I took him to the bathroom. And he came and told Erica, he's like, I pee, my pee was a little red. I went into the bathroom the next time and he was passing blood in his urine. That is the only sign. He was not tired, was not bruising, didn't you know have any lumps or bumps that we noticed on him. That, that kind of started the process, go to the doctor and they ran some blood tests. The next morning is when we got the call that they had found tumors in his, both of his kidneys and they said, no, you need to go to Iowa City immediately. We're given the next day the diagnosis of, at that time it was bilateral Wilms tumor which is cancer of the kidneys, and he was in complete renal failure. We were re-diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's Burkitt's lymphoma. In that two days time frame, he went from being able to hold himself up with a walker to needing me to hold his head up so he could throw up into a bucket. That's how weak he was. He just completely deteriorated, went downhill. The cancer just started taking over his body more and more. You know, losing the ability to even hold yourself up was kind of a scary one to watch your child go through. His face had drooped and his eyes were pretty well closed and they didn't know if his eyes would open back up all the way or his face would come back. But he had to relearn how to walk from the very beginning. Coming up on five years, being cancer free, so we have that. Hopefully when you guys all see this, we'll be able to celebrate the five years. <laughs> the care team that was with us at the University of Iowa Hospital that helped Kale, not only Kale, but, but our whole family, I can't say thank you enough. The Children's Hospital is where you need to be if your child is sick. You don't ever want your child to be sick, but I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. It is the best place. It was a safe place. It became my home, our home, for nine months. It's a godsend to have people that are this amazing of doctors and nurses and all the specialists above. I have a healthy 11-year-old boy because of them. Gail's doing good. He's doing good. He's kid likes to be outside helping, doing lots of things. I like to help on the farm with harvest, and I like showing pigs. We named them the Little Rascal theme. I like running the grain cart and running the combine. I always tell my dad I could take over and he can go run truck, and he says no. Having him today is a blessing. I want him just to lead a successful and happy life and take what he's been through to help strengthen him even more. He fought through everything that was thrown at him no matter what it was. I wouldn't want to do half the stuff that we put him through. And he did it, and I think he's stronger for it. He's not really scared of that kind of stuff. I mean, he's not scared of stuff anymore like you would think he would be.